Ecto. Ooh, a Mirix! Okay, well, we steal the Mirix. Hey, that's how you get your lands. You just steal them. Yeah, the Thought String Analyst is the entire reason we are winning this game. Just enough for the Restless Reef, and that is good game. Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode with Mana Mana, and today we've got a juicer for it before we dig into the deck. Make sure you leave a like on the video. The button looks just like this, and it does help out the channel tremendously. I greatly appreciate it. I know it's cliche, but I do appreciate it. All right, so let's go ahead and dig right in. Oh, feel free to join us in the Discord below. Gotta plug that in in our pinned comments below. Let's dig right in. We got Demir Control, baby. That is right. Let's go ahead and start off with our Thought String Analyst. This card is basically Dark Confident. I'm not even joking you. We get to steal our opponent's cards. Now, the only thing that's the problematic, a lot of, um, a lot, there's a lot of burden. There's a lot of aggro. There's a lot of burden in alchemy. So this can kind of hurt you. So we do have this, but if you're playing against like mid range or control, you can absolutely run away with the game with this. So I, I, we got to run two of them. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your opponent's library face down. You lose life equal to the mana value, but you may look and play at this card for as long as it remains exiled. Even if it gets rid of it, you can still play it. So we absolutely love this. The reason why this is so good is because you get, not only do you get it the entire time, but it's just like a dark confided so that's why it's good i don't know i just love it it's dark confided but alchemy version some people if you really hate alchemy you might think this is like a, like a salt in the wound but either way i love this card and we're gonna run it so we have this and we also have this so we have four of these things we don't have anything to do with thopters we have nothing to do with artifacts really well i guess we do we have the cryptic coat but other than this card this card is literally just like a two drop win condition um if you can just start dropping this ornithopters like I understand if they kill the Thopters, they become zero twos again, but every single turn getting a two two flyer for free is pretty broken. So I'm running four of these. I think this character just could single-handedly run away with games. So other than that, I mean we've got a plethora of things here. Let's go ahead and drop all the perforator crocodile. Absolutely love this thing. It's essentially a massacre worm, but instead of a worm, it's a crocodile. <laughs> and you get a stab wound on all your other bonus creatures and you do get to go for cycling if you do not like it so that's what i like about it if you have the crocodile in your hand you can cycle it away set up for the virtual persistence it is what it is so i do have aklazots uh air tie you know outrageous robbery because we are stealing cards we want to steal with the thought string analyst and the outrageous robbery so we do also have that malcolm case of the lost witness is another alchemy card it's a mythic rare fibble thip um i believe thunder junction is uh bringing another fibble thip so Maybe we can uh, kind of like delve into that more, but if you got a um, homunculus, you can solve the case and then you can look at the top card of your library at any time. Play lands, cast spells from the top of your library. Pretty busted. Long term and long gritty matchups, this can be good. We have bring the ending and some trickery for our counter spells and, you know, some deadly cover ups, some Gixxas command, a little bit of everything. And also one Vein Ripper. If you drop a Vein Ripper and then deadly com cover up or Gixxas command, this can be good. So most of the time, people run this and. Let's not forget, it is an assassin. So, a trad, a deadly fugitive, face on creatures you control, have four, turn this creature face up, blah, blah. But whenever an assassin you control deals combat damage to opponent, you get the clock, the cloak, the top card of that player's library. So we can actually cloak with this card too. Just a little extra, you know, a little extra seasoning on top. But this is the deck, it's pretty much just Demir control, and I feel pretty good about it. That's so. pretty much the deck. Let's go ahead and get right into the games. Before we do that, consider joining the channel. That would help me out monetarily as a content creator. Get ready to subscribe if you have not already, and without further ado, let's get ready to vanquish some enemies. Well, 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 if it isn't Majin Buu, hello. All right, so this is a pretty, I'm gonna keep it, we are on the play. So we'll go and keep it. Plus all of our stuff is relatively low onto the ground. This is like the top end of our curve here, so. Ah, we'll, we'll top deck into something that we can play here, but... Hello, Majin Buu. Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, this might be a hot take for all you Dragon Ball fans out there. Um, see those archive, that's fine. I, personally, think Majin Buu Saga was pretty underrated. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, but okay, enough about that. Thought String Analyst, the new Dark Confided, absolutely love this, versus Control. Obviously, this is a lot better versus Control than Aggro, because Aggro kind of helps them burn us out, but... Thought String Analyst, and they're probably reading this, that's right, buddy. That's right, Majin Buu. You can't absorb the Thought String Analyst. Maybe. I don't know what your deck's capable of, but I don't think I can do it on turn two. But at the beginning of your upkeep, you're going to be able to just steal a card off the top, and then you lose life. But the thing is, you can play it whenever you want. So it's basically Dark Confinement. So. But for the opponent's card, it's not your own. Okay, all of that. They probably were reading over it, which I don't blame. Striking fear into their heart early. 
Um, the Perforator Crocodile also a little bit better versus aggro, so. Ooh, a Mirix! Okay, well, we steal the Mirix. Hey, that's how you get your lands. You just steal them. You literally just steal them. That's how you do that. All right, I think we're just going to swing in. There's nothing really we can do here. I think I may cycle the Crocodile. We'll see. If we are playing against slow, trudgy, blah, 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 Esper Control, I'm probably just going to go in for the cycling on the Crocodile because Crocodile is a lot better versus creature decks, not versus this stuff. All right, this does seem to be Esper. What you got for me, Majin Buu? Go for the throat. Um, that sucks. You're going to kill my Dark Confident? That's unfortunate. Well, at least I stole my Mirix because I... I'm actually not running the Mirix, which maybe I should because it is kind of a win condition versus like control. But now that we stole the Mirix, I don't know. We might we might have a win condition against you. If this is true blue control, which it does seem to be. So, okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and cycle the crocodile here. Yeah. Ah, uh, man, I I, it sucks, though. I really like this card, but it's just not really good for the matchup, so... Okay, ooh, another land. That's okay. I think we're just going to drop our land, say go. Let's fix up our hand here. Yep, I think um our plan is pretty much just go in for the Mirix. Okay, island cycle. You can cycle for all the islands you'd like. Now that I have the Mirix, and again, this Mirix is... We stole. We stole the Mirix from you. Thanks to our Dark Confident. So, the one ring. Ooh, I don't like that. But, okay, that's fine. Definitely don't love that. Let's go in for our Mirix. Again, we stole the Mirix. I definitely should be running the Mirix. Um, I probably will edit this match to... Uh, not the edit match. I will edit this deck to put the Mirix in after this match. Because Mirix should be in here. I don't think we're that mana hungry to where we can. So, Alright, the one ring goes off. That is fine. So, I think... Obviously, we're just going to go in for another Mirix token here. We do have the Trickery, just in case they played something insane. But we'll be okay. Surveil. You can Surveil all you'd like. We got the Mirix token here. That's right. Boom, baby. Looking pretty good. All right. So, I mean, we could drop down the Vein Ripper, but... You know, I don't think so. They probably... Man, this is going to be kind of a boring match. Uh, control versus Control. I would like to get down the Vein Ripper... But I think we're just going to hold still. Virtue of Persistence. I guess this gives us another win condition. I guess we'll keep it. I guess. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe if they do something crazy, we can just play down two Virtue of Persistences to get stuff back. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Well, they are going to slowly bleed to the one ring. So they got to be kind of careful here. But we do have um, Saruman's Trickery, which is really, really nice in case they try to go for another one ring to kind of reset this counter. Okay. Kind of a boring matchup. But thank, thank God our Dark Confident. I'm going to keep calling him Dark Confident. Thank God our Thought String Analyst stole the Mirix token because it's single-handedly... Gave us a win condition versus this, because otherwise we'd be we'd be struggling. I think we'd be struggling. We probably went for Vein Ripper. We don't have the mana to go for the trickery to protect it. We've been pretty bad here. So, um, yeah. I mean, we got three Might Tokens. Let me count my mana up here. If we go for the Restless Reef, we can't hold up the trickery. So I'm not gonna go for the Restless Reef. Let's just remain calm. Go in for our little Mites, our Mighty Mites, and we'll be okay. If they're starting to use spot removal on these little mites, that is pretty good. That means they are... De definitely see them as a threat, so that's nice. Alright, four poison counters, 13 life, and the one ring takes them down to 11. At this point, they gotta be a little, like, um... You know, they're mm, gonna go in for it again, okay. The only thing that I am a little bit worried about, if they drop the one ring... They've got five mana sources, so if they drop the one ring, they can't have a counter spell for our counter spell, but now they can. So now they can. All right, no one ring. All right, we'll just go straight in for the Mirix token here. I'm cool with this. Again, though, this is really, really... <laughs> it's really gritty. Um, kind of some, like, gridlock here, but this is okay. It seems to kind of favor us. So eventually, they're just going to die out by their own one ring, and they actually got rid of a No More Lies, which is pretty great. Um, how are we looking here? Get them down to set. I mean, are we? I mean, I don't know. The poison counters as well as the one ring burn. It's looking okay. 
Let's go ahead and swing in. Uh, take him to seven poison counters. I mean, this is fine with me. Like I said, slow and steady wins the race. More spot removal. This is fine. Yep, it's fine. At this point, we're just chilling, man. Down to nine. Six poison counters. Like, they have to do something eventually, so... And again, though, this is so nice because we couldn't have done this without our Thought String Analyst. Because I don't, like I said, I'm not running the Mirix, so. If they're going to make their own Mirix token, that's fine. They are way behind in the Might Race, so that is absolutely fine with me. They go down to six. I mean, they have to be careful here, man. Okay, they do have Creature Lands as well as we do. We have the Restless Reef. If we really need to, we can take the Restless Reef and really push for that final oomph of damage if need be. Got the Crocky. Crocodile. But yeah, the Thought String Analyst is the entire reason we are winning this game. Because of the Mirix token. If we didn't steal that Mirix token with the Thought String Analyst, I don't know. I think we would be kind of screwed out here. That's okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. 19 with one Poison Counter is a lot not as good as you. Oh, Shelly. Okay, Shelly's a problem with the One Ring. I think I'm going to have to go for this, because they gain a lot of life with the One Ring, but then again, I have I'm, maybe I can win with Poison Counters. Then again, if I do counter this, and they do go for the One Ring, I'm going to feel pretty stupid, but let's go ahead and try it out. I would rather them... Yeah, I don't know... <sighs> oh, Reprieve! Okay, so they don't have another One Ring, so that's nice. They Reprieve this, which is a little interesting. Um, yeah... Let's go in for the trickery again. If they counter this, which is they, if they have like a no more lies, they only have two more lands open. If they do this, they tap out and they can't go for the one ring anymore. Or the activate ability, rather. Okay, no more lies. That is not, not great. So Shelly will resolve, but they're tapped out. They're tapped out. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Okay, let's, not, let's make sure that we just don't make a mistake. They're tapped out, so now they can't draw with the one ring. Nine. Swamp. Okay. If we... Man, there's another world where we could drop the Vein Ripper. Oh, that would be really cool. I think we're just one shy. So if we could go for Vein Ripper and double Virtue of Persistence, we could kill the Shelly. We definitely can't go for Vein Ripper and Deadly Cover Up to blow up the whole board. That would be actually really, really funny with the Vein, vein Ripper. But unfortunately, I just don't think we're going to be able to do that. So... What's the other move here? Let's go to Game of Thinking. We do have map tokens as well, so if I go for... If I go for double Virtue of Persistence... I want to... Is there a way we can do it with the Vein Ripper? I don't think so, unfortunately. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, Virtue of Persistence, double on the Shelly, and we have enough of the rest of the... There we go. They're tapped out. We are good to go. Just enough. Just enough for the Restless Reef, and that is good game. Black Grizzo, Black Grizzo, welcome to the show. This looks like an okay enough hand, we'll keep it. All right, pretty Demiri. I guess it is a Demir deck, so that makes sense. So, drop down the Restless Reef turn one, march toward perfection. I did kind of consider actually throwing one of these in here, just because of the, the cool things you can draft with this. I may have to revisit this card, this card's really fun. Let's not worry, let's not, let's not, you know, gloat about the other opponent's deck. Let's just see if we can make our own strategy work. Ooh, the Converts. Okay, so this has Toxic. Is this a Toxic deck? Perhaps. Well, we don't have Toxic, even though this has uh, three or more Poison Counters with Corrupted. We don't have Toxic, but we can, can we still can use it. Oh, okay. The One Ring. Yeah, let's go ahead and say absolutely not with that. Ring the Ending. Trickery. You know what? Let's go in for a Trotta, the Deadly Fugitive. We could uphold the counter magic, but I don't know. I think just going in for a Trotta seems pretty fun. We do have Death Touch on this, so well, they have Death Touch as well. Ah, do we want to let this go? I think we'll let it go. Maybe a little risky there, but if we swing in, we do get to cloak something, so that feels pretty good. Another more sure perfection, okay. They're marching all right. They're marching all right. Let's see what we got here. 
Oh, oh, there's not. Oh, because I went to the graveyard. I hate when it does that. It doesn't let me do it. And a Vron. Okay, it does come with a plus one, plus one counter. Don't really care that much. Not really. I do care about the death touch, though. That is actually pretty annoying. But I'm actually going to swing in here. I highly doubt they don't block. I, they're going to trade here, I would assume. They don't? Wow. I mean, I did get to cloak something for free. A 2 2. It is an. It's just a, a swamp, which kind of sucks, so. Yeah, I think this is fine. We can trade here. We do have the uh, the trickery, so we're hanging in there. But yeah, I mean, definitely like the cloak stuff for free. That feels good. And two more. Okay, the, I yeah, no, definitely not. We're gonna go ahead and pay this. It's fine. So with the uh, mass one, we actually can double block the Vron. I think we might just do that. Yeah, we can't let this um go through. Don't want them to get rid of my Aklasots or Deadly Cup. Nah, nah. I want my hand to stay mine. They are going to pay. Ooh. Alright, what you got here? Oh, Sheldon's Assimilator. It's not that bad. So the face down card, yeah. Well, this is pretty much the worst thing you can get with the Atrata. Because for four, you can turn this creature face up if it's something big and huge. Or... You can just uh, exile it and play it without using its mana cost, but if it's a land, that's like the worst of both worlds, unfortunately. But yeah, this is going to be an easy double block, in my opinion. That's fine. Death Touch does kill it, but okay. Thought String Analyst. Okay, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, they're not even going to want to really block this, so let's go ahead and cloak another card. I mean, they did use the Assimilator on the One Ring, so maybe there's a chance that we just snag their One Ring. What is this? Grafted Butcher. Eh, it's not really that good, unfortunately. So, I think we'll just go in for you. Hmm. Not a Phyrexian. I guess we could double block. It doesn't really do a whole lot. I think the Whale of the Forgotten is probably the move here. Let's actually just do that. I know it's a little bit, eh, it's a little meh, but I do want to see if I can just get into another land, which we do. Let's go in for the Undercity Sewers. We do get more Deadly Cover. Yeah, I think this is nice, though, because we do get Deadly Cover Up uh, ammo this way if need be. And I think at this point, I don't really want the land, so we'll do that. But now our Thought String Analyst, our new Dark Confident, is going to start stealing our opponent's cards. So if we get to steal what they put the Assimilator, they may have just drawn it. Because it's by random, right? Yeah, a random top five card. Oh, the go for the throat is very rude. Raptor Butcher, and not everything gets menaced, right? Well, I'm at 15 life. This is a kind of scary. Mm, maybe I just want to... Mm. Mm. Do I want to go for Aklazots, or do I want to go for Deadly Cover-Up? Hmm, that's actually pretty close. I don't know. Down to seven. Air tie. I mean, Aklasots is pretty good. Let's just swing in here. I think I am going to go for Deadly Cover Up, and then we're going to exile the Grafted Butcher, because the Grafted Butcher can come back. So let's see what they cloak here. Go for the throw. I mean, that doesn't really. That's not that good, is it? Do you lose my Atrata this way? I pretty much get a go for the throat. I can turn this up. Maybe we can block, go for the throat. I don't know. It doesn't seem that good. Let's just, let's just jump in. We better cover. And I always want to make sure it's not the creatures, so. Swipe the board, and we'll go ahead and get rid of the Grafted Butcher. Yep. Uh, yep. Library, blah, blah. Blah, blah. So don't have to worry about that. We have effectively put them into top deck mode, and we have seven life. Hopefully we don't see that one ring, because I know the one ring has to be somewhere, because they did put it up there with the uh, assimilator. So hopefully no one ring. That would put them right back into this game, and I... Okay, we're good there. Let's drop the Aklazots. But we know that one ring's coming. It has to be, right? Unless... Did they something happen to it? The One Ring? No, Shelly. Okay. Um, I think... Yeah, we're just gonna kill the Shelly. Unfortunately, we're gonna give them a draw. That's fine. I think that's fine. We can handle that.
Don't love giving the job, but we have they also have to um, discard for this. So, ooh, drag the canal. Now that something died, we can drag the canal, and I think I'm going to do that. But let's do this first. Discard a card. If they do a land, I get a little bat, which is nice. Akalzots has really stood the test of time, though. This card is cool. It's competitive. It's good. And it's not even, like, broken. It's just a really amazing card. So down to seven. We go up to a... Do I want to drag the canal? Because I only get to surveil two... Yeah, I think we're going to do this. Yeah, because we, we want to get this going. Gix's command, we will keep. And now we also get a clue token. Yeah, because otherwise we just get a 2-2. Two -two, which is like, alright. But because the Shelly died, we want to make sure to use that. And Gix's command will put this game on the rocks. But where, what happened to that um, one ring? Because they exiled it. Did they shuffle or something? Oh, okay, Deadly Cut. I think Deadly Cut made them shuffle. That's probably what it was. I was, say, I was expecting a One Ring to come, but I, that makes more sense. So the Assimilator, let's see what they can assimilate, but I think we're looking pretty good. What was that? What was that? Hold on. A Shelly, but I don't think we're really that worried about that. And a Vron. Okay. Well, Gix's Command, I think we're looking pretty good here, so... If we just kill you, whenever one or more other creatures you control die, so I think we're actually going to win here. Yep, so put two counters, and I'm going to have two or less, and then we're actually going to put this on you to go wide. Brawn is not going to activate, so no more life gain for you. We swing in, and we're looking phenomenal. Bam, good game. Wow, I mean, that was pretty good. Like I said, I wish we had the, the Dark Confident a little bit, but we had the Atrata, so I'm pretty satisfied with that. I think it was in a lifelink, right? No, 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 no lifelink. That's eight. Go through, and yeah, we're gonna take this game. So, looks good. We got some coffee in our hand. We got some Demir action. Hopefully, the opponent is not gonna rope us to death because I am. Oh, there you go. It's okay. Good game. Mr. Peebles, you're gonna be becoming my arch nemesis, man. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this hand. This looks like a pretty nice diversified hand. All right, Undercity Sewers. We have a tap lands for ourselves, but yeah, Mr. Peebles, man, we've got some quite the history. Diabolic Intent? Okay. What could you be diabolically intending to do with me? Demir? Oh, is this a Demir mirror match? Okay, well, it seems like we're going to be playing a little bit differently, so... I think I'd rather hold, bring the ending. Bring the ending, of course. You want to make use of this as quickly as possible, because... Um, you know, paying two actually is not that hard later in the game. So, Oracle of the Alpha, let's go ahead and do this. Yep. Get rid of, I am not running Oracle of the Alpha. I don't know if I really desire it that much. I do love the Restless Reef, but I think at this point, I'm just going to go in for the Cryptic Coat. Nothing cryptic about what we want to do here. The name of the game is just going to beat your face in. And, oh, we, oh, I was going to say, what's going on here? I was like, what am I cryptic? What am I cloaking here? And I'm cloaking the Cryptic Coat. Say that three times fast. Cloaking the Cryptic Coat, cloaking the Cryptic, yeah. Not the best with that. Whoa, okay. They want to, I mean, this is an instant. They want to eat up their entire turn to do this. I think we're pretty much okay with that. You know what? I think we'd rather surveil into something kind of sexy here. So let's go ahead and just do this and drop the Cryptic Coat again. Acklezots, I would say is pretty sexy. So, all right, Cryptic Coat number two. <laughs> See, that's what's so awesome. I mean, that was pretty good for us. They used this to eat up their whole turn. And give us another Cryptic Coat to play with. This card is gasoline. Case of the Lost Witness. I mean, long term, this thing can just win you games. So, I think we're just going to drop the, um, I think we're, not drop. We're going to turn up the, uh, the Aklazots here. So, let's do this. Turn face up. We do tap out for this, but I think it's well worth it for the Aklazots. They do have to discard, and we're looking pretty good here. Nothing's better. What's what's better than an Aquazots? I guess it's a cloaked Aquazots. So, yeah, looking good. 25 to 15. Even if they do get rid of it, we keep the Cryptic Coat. And, well, Rusko. How much do we not like the Rusko here? I think this is okay. We do have the Trickery. How worried are we? I guess we could go for Way of the Forgotten. Typically, a lot of times, this card's a little bit better late in the game. Um, I could do this and then just hold up this. I mean, that's pretty, 
freaking amazing. But let's go ahead and just swing in before we think about anything else. So we get two discards off the Aquavots. I mean, Aquavots is really standing the test of time as far as just being like one of the coolest and best cards. That's what we like around here. Cool and good. I mean, Aquavots just fits that category perfectly. You know what? I think I'm actually going to go for Whale of Forgotten here. It's a little, it's a little less sexy than I'd like it to be. But if we can just return target non-land permanent, I guess we can just pop the Rusko. I guess that is pretty annoying for them. And then we can just go in for the trickery. So yeah, this is pretty good. I don't think the Midnight Clock is going to be able to go off effectively. Another Rusko. I'm just going to counter it. Yeah, let's just do this. Yeah, this is fine. We don't want to give them another Midnight Clock. We're at 28 life. And they just give it up. I don't know. I was a little nervous about a board wipe. Um, but yeah, good game. Strike Czar. Strike Czar. Okay, this is... This is... And horribly slow on the draw. Yeah, we're going to mulligan this away. Just get something a little bit faster. So, all right. I think this is a little bit better by default. I, oh. Two lands now. I guess we'll get rid of the Gix Command considering we got two lands. So, not the most optimal start, but we got optimal gameplay to make up for it. I hope. Do have the Lonely End. So, this is aggro. We do gain three life. So, that's really nice. And it does not appear that we go against aggro. So, not good, but... See what you got here. Azorius. This is gonna be Azorius control. Well, we gotta bring the ending if they do want to get cute. That's pretty cute. Uh paratrooper. If they're gonna be flashing stuff in, I guess we will do that. It does not feel good at all, but I guess we'll do this. I guess we could hold up the lonely end as well in case they play something at sorcery speed. So maybe that's a slight misplay, but. Alrighty, we do got the Deadly Cover Up and an Earth Eye. Another one. You know what? I guess we'll just let this one go. At this point, one damage. Am I really like, sweating it that much? Nah. Oh, yeah. Come through. My turn, really. Well, I guess we'll just go for Lonely End. Sure. We'll just gotta get rid of this thing while we can. Game 3 life. That feels pretty amazing. Dark Slick Shores. Pass. Oh, don't pass that. Oh, <laughs> All right, just pass. I guess we're just playing it slow, which is fine with me. Opponent is suck on land. Do I even want to drop the Earth tie? I don't think so. No reason, to, no reason to get cute here. Pass. Set go. You gotta play something at some point. I don't even really want them to draw more cards. Is the problem? I guess we, this is going to be the, a really weird match. I can already tell how this is going to be playing out, but... Got enough life gain to kill a turkey, so... I don't know why I chose turkey. I don't know why did I choose turkey. Of all big animals I could think of, turkey was the one. Siege veteran. Yep, just go and bring the ending. Didn't even have to hold up for the earth side here, so... We're just we're making... making. There we go. We have our win condition. This is effectively our win condition. Don't have a counter spell anymore, but that's okay. We got the Lonely End, and now our Thopterus is basically just going to take over the game, I'm, I'm assuming. Oh, okay. Well, kind of wish I went for the Lonely End instead of the, the, uh, the counter spell there, so that was definitely an issue on my end. So, no problemo. I guess we'll just go in for the Ornithopter. Airtai resurrected, and we still have enough for the Lonely End there. This is fine. We'll give you another card draw, but at this point, I don't care that much. All right, might have been the slowest start in the history of Magic the Gathering, but now I guess we got a game here. So this is, appears to be just soldiers, right? It's got to be, right? Not expecting. Not expecting, like, you know, like, um, Elspeth's Command. Okay, that's fine. Definitely not expecting, like, getting a board wipes, blah, blah, blah. Do I want to go for the Lonely End? I think we will. Let's just go and get rid of this thing, I suppose. 27 life. And again, the Thopters is probably just going to take over the game here. But... Virtual Persistence? Sure. And another Ornithop. Yeah, I mean, like I said, this is a game, it just pretty much plays itself. Swing in. I mean, we don't have really a whole lot of stuff to grab. I guess we have the Siege Veteran. We do steal... This deck does kind of, you know, steal our opponent's stuff, which is nice. Again, not expecting a Sunfall, but even if they do have a Sunfall, we can probably survive. Tactician. Okay, so just like an Anthem for Soldiers. 
Maybe this is what was clogging up their hand here. Oh, the Thopters is going to put us away. So now that these little Ornithopters are just kind of, um, you know, they're just kind of average now. 3-3. Three, three. Do I want to chump block? I guess so. Honestly. Um, whenever I attack, I mean, I, need, I guess I need soldiers for this, but I don't know. I guess so. We'll take it. Pass? Yeah, this is a this is a weird matchup, man. Very, very strange. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, gosh dang, all things considered, I don't even know if we're looking how how sexy we're looking. Engine's battlefield put a plus one plus one on counter target soldier. Okay. Do I wanna clear the board? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, at this point, they're probably going to outrace us here. So, I mean, we have the virtual persistence. I don't think I even want to collect evidence to remove something. Yeah, chump block. I think we're sitting okay. I mean, this isn't that overly threatening. Um, I guess we'll just go in for the siege veteran. Lonely end. So, with my roll, the shield of Argive, I mean... Whenever I attack, how many soldier tokens do we have? I <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what I want to do. Do I want to start swinging in? I guess we'll just swing in because I'm probably going to deadly cover up either way. So, And plus we have the lonely end here. So if they want to chump block, that's fine. <laughs> I guess not. I mean, we could probably just combat them i mean let's get them to establish everything onto the board before we kind of like clear the board i mean they got this that's not that big of a deal i guess that's kind of unfortunate for us right because this gets exiled and we can't like bring that back with the virtue after we clear the board Rescue Retriever! Wow, it's just a bad feel. Put a plus one, plus one counter on your control. control. Prevent all damage that would be dealt. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, we'll go ahead and let that resolve. I mean, whatever. We're still gonna uh, deadly cover it up, so. We're at 33 life, so even like whatever they do, let's just let them do their stuff here. But the Rescue Retriever, really cute card. Have not seen this in a long time. That's fine. Yep, this is fine. I don't know why they're not. Yeah, I would say, like, we might as well swing in here. So. Boop. Alright, down to 28, but like I said, this is not gonna really matter. I guess I could go for Lonely End, but it's not really gonna matter. And. Uh, whatever. It doesn't really. It doesn't really matter. More land. This is just the weirdest game, man. I guess we might as well swing in before we clear the board. Alright. They pretty much have to know that we're going to clear the board. Because we are just taking a, a swing here. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of like a... It's kind of a boring game, honestly. Down to 13, deadly cover-up. And do I want to get... Yeah, I think we will, I suppose. Don't think we... Well, I don't want to get rid of my creatures. So instant, instant, instant. That's fine. Uh, yeah, they don't really have much else to go off of. And I guess we just get rid of this thing just because it can um, scry from the graveyard. All right. Like I said, kind of a boring matchup here. But, you know, I mean, a win's a win, I guess. I mean, I don't want to say a win was a Sky Strike Officer. I said, I don't want to say a win's a win just yet. This is actually pro kind of problematic, right? Lonely end. Get rid of you. All right, virtual. Like I said, it's a very grindy matchup. Um, I guess we might as well take their biggest thing, right? I mean, rescue retriever is pretty cute. I guess we'll just have to just take this thing, right? All righty, and a vein ripper. There we go. Let's drop the vein ripper. Okay, we finally got into a juicy, like kind of like win condition thing. Pretty good. The Vayne Ripper actually works very, very well with our deadly cover up because then we just blow up the whole board. It's not bad. It's pretty much like a, pretty much a bomb itself. A 
A 2-2 two -two soldier, you say? Alright, well... I think we'll just... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Kind of a boring match there. Grindy, but that's what control is, I suppose. Jackal5564. Hello, hello. Welcome to the show. We'll go ahead and keep this. Got our Undercity Sewers. I think we'll surveil this. Try to find our third land here. A little bit dry. There we go. We're fine. Looking beautiful. Alright. Warden of the Inner Sky. Alright. Not too worried about this. We do have... Uh, we do have the co Deadly Cover-Up, so if they get too crazy, we can keep them in check, but... I'm gonna try and go crazy myself. Let's go ahead and drop this Thopterus. You know what? We don't really have anything other to do with Thopters other than this Thopterus, but this card's like a single-handedly a win condition. This card's literally, like, if they can't deal with this, pretty soon we'll just drop the Ornithopters over and over and over and over again, so... Yeah. Like I said, a two-drop win condition that really has, like, doesn't need any other, like, interaction... Pretty good. But let's go. I think we're just going to be. Let's just be a little bit more meticulous about this. Let's go ahead and do the Warden of the Inner Sky before we want to do anything else. So, this thing. Can, I know we do have the Deadly Cover Up, but don't really have the land for it. So, I think we're just going to go ahead and just get rid of it while we can. Do I. No, let's not do that. Again, we have the Ornithopters coming out every single turn. So, I don't think that's going to be really. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like I said, I mean, this is a control deck. This is a control deck, and I think. I don't know. We might just want to start doing this. We might just out brace them. So, yeah, this is fine. Do you see how crazy this is going to get? And now our Thopterist. Like our Thopterist, we're going to get two four twos for free every turn. I mean, this card is absolutely insane, man. You don't even have to build a deck around artifacts to make this worth it. All right, so, oh, Merry. Merry Christmas, I guess. War Leader's Call, four. Ah, man, we could. I think so. I know it's like we could race, but I'm a little bit worried they could storm off the War Leader's Call. Plus, we have the unlimited fuel, essentially. So, I think we just make the trade. I know it's like, you know. We have unlimited fuel. This, I mean, oh my god, the Thought Curse is insane. Wow. Mount Wolf. Hello, Mount Wolf. All right, let's go ahead and keep this. As long as we got our Thought Curse, we got infinite gas. That's right, infinite gas. That's a free 2-2 flyer for free every single turn. I mean, all right. Well... I think we're probably just going to do this. Let's just get rid of the Swiss Spear, gain a little bit of life. Unfortunately, we're going to be playing against aggro. I feel, feel like I've gotten a lot of aggro lately, which is aggro vading. But at least we are on the play, and we have a little bit of removal here, so we'll be okay. Okie dokie, mono red. Typically, so I haven't seen an alchemy card yet. This just looks to be... Um... Am I missing something here? Is this, is this, uh, is this standard? I haven't seen an alchemy card yet, but it's okay. We'll hold up go for the throat and see if they overcommit to something. Squee! Squee, squee, squee! Yeah, let's go ahead and just go for the throat. We can eventually deadly cover up the squee, so... Down to 15 by turn 3 actually is not that bad, all things considered. Down to 15. Another thought- Ooh, okay, let's do this. Double thought there feels pretty good to me. Alright. They can't burn both, right? Maybe they can. If they do get crazy, they can run uh, the tech... It's not end the festivities, because this is alchemy. But there's another card just like it called Tectonic Rage, I believe. It's Tectonic something. Oh, if they did that, I'd cry. So let's see what you got. We got two of them. If we do top deck into a non-tap land, we'll be okay. Either way, because we have um, mostly a board wipe and an actual board wipe, so... You gotta figure that they do find this to be threatening. I mean, the Thopterus is so good. Look at this. Oh. One Thopterus gives you a free 2-2 in the air every single turn. And when I mean free, I mean literally free. Ornithopters. And then if you have two of them, which we do, uh, Trickery is pretty nice. But, um... I mean, look at this. Look how good this is. If you have two, you get two free 4-2s in the air every single turn. You don't... Like, the thing that makes this so crazy is you don't even have... You don't, you don't even have to, like, have anything else to do with the deck. Like, this is just a two-drop win condition. It's crazy. Lightning Strike. Do I want to trickery this? 
I think so. I, I think so. If they did use a lightning strike rather than like a, like a something else, I think we would they would do that first. Because a lightning strike, they would much rather do something a little cheaper. Okay, so another lightning strike. That's fine. Let's just pass. Just to hold. So I know we could probably swing and get a little bit of damage in. I guess we could, but we're not really going to win this game by doing damage. We're going to like kind of have to stabilize the board. And a squeak comes out to play. I think we're looking okay. We do have a, an orc, which is not a goblin, but it does look like a goblin. Wow, and they do not want any of that. That feels nice, and we do get into this, so... Um, I think at this point, we're probably just going to go in for Gix's Command. Mm, yeah, let's do this. The problem... I don't want to say it's a problem. It does play a little bit awkwardly, but again, the card is so good. I know this like doesn't synergize very well. Because we're going to have to get plus two, plus two, and then destroy a trigger with power two or less. So let's do this on the Thopterus. We do lose our other stuff. And again, it does seem like like a little like not synergenic. But it doesn't really matter. I promise you, it doesn't matter. Drop Ornithopter, and we're looking good. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, they can't go for Squee. we got one card in their hand. We pretty much eliminated the whole thing. I mean, it's just a classic case of Melt Crew. Okay, yeah. That is fine. Our Thopters, again though, the Thopters is just a win condition in and of itself. And I am actually... Can't okay, double the cover, obviously. I'm gonna go for the rest of the strafe. I'm gonna mill myself. I'm not gonna mill you. Just help your squee out. No way. Let's go ahead and mill ourselves. We don't really use the graveyard too much, but that's okay. Down to 10, and we actually do have lethal with another swing in from the reef. Yeah, we actually have lethal here. Ooh, Phoenix. Well, you can't swing, so... Okay. Another one, and there's a lonely end. Oh my god. Well, let's just do it. Yeah, they, they know the end is near. I like the Phoenix, though. I do like this card, but... Joy! Alright, Joy. Hello, hello. This hand brings me quite enough joy. We'll go ahead and keep it. I am running the Vein Ripper. It is an assassin, which kind of works with our Trata, but, you know. Alright, so... Let's just drop you. Do I want more land? There's our Atrada. Okay, Atrada and the Vein Ripper does work pretty well, so... You know what? I guess we'll keep it. We do need a 3-drop. We got Malcolm. Let's find out what we're playing against first. Seems to be Mono Green. Mono Green's actually better in Alchemy than Standard. I don't think it's even close. Bushwhack. So it was a fairly slow start for our opponent, which I don't mind at all. Let's go ahead and pass. And then I'm not even gonna see the Malcolm in the middle. Zooming in with Flash. They're not even gonna see it coming. Still nothing from Mono Green here. All right. What's nice about Mono Green is we don't even really have to worry about them playing anything because um, does Green have Flash? I don't think so. All right. Well, I guess we'll swing in. Malcolm is not an assassin, so we can kind of win. Ooh, Liliana. You know what? I think we'll probably ditch the Vein Ripper. No, nah, I don't. I don't know. I actually don't know what I want to get rid of here. Maybe just the Whale of the Forgotten. You know what, we could go for Liliana, but I think just dropping a Trata is a little bit more fun. So, let's do this. Yeah, we have forgotten a pretty good I don't know, my whole hand seems pretty good. Roth, uh, okay. The Roth IRA itself. Okay, so whenever this enters a battlefield, you get a one-time boon. Pretty much the next creature that they play is just going to double its power. Plus X, plus X. Kind of, essentially, you know what I'm saying. Alright, so do they want to give up the Atrata here is the question. I don't know. We could swing in. Maybe we just go for Liliana. Let's actually do this. Let's just clear the path. Let's not be too cute. Let's Enough go ahead and kill a Ratha. Because when a Trata, when a Trata swings in here, go. off you go. We're going to be able to get a Cloak. Because this is an Assassin. Okay, this looks pretty good. So a Trata. Let's see here. And we do get the Cloak. Oh my god. So we actually get to Cloak the O'Hare Kazlum. That is absolutely amazing. I think we're going to get rid of the... Thopterus. I think it's just a little bit too slow at this point in time. So, for four, we can turn this over. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Alright, definitely. Yeah, because I mean, right. Wow, they're not even going to let me do it. Mm, they knew. Paul. Paul, Paul, Paul. Alright, we'll go and keep this. Sorry, Paul. We got a pretty good opening hand here. Underground Mortuary. Not too worried about that. 
If they do, ooh, case of the lost witness. We got all of our alchemy gas here. We got thought string analyst, case of the lost witness. We'll be real good. Let's see if we can steal your stuff here. It's nothing personal, Paul, but I am gonna have to steal some stuff. Oh. Mmm. Okay. That's a problem. Turn two insidious roots on the draw. <laughs> that's a that's a problem. Um I think we'll just drop you. I mean we've got nothing to really, you know. Let's see if we can steal away your stuff. I would actually laugh pretty hard if we stole away all their insidious root stuff. Well, unfortunately, our dark confidant is going to go away. Those who get in my way tend to regret it. We tend to regret it, huh, Lily? <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of personal Okay, space? so this is pretty much how we're going to win. So insidious root is going to go off. Nothing much we can do about that. What we can do is drop the Emporium Topterus, and we can just fly over all your little plants if they want to do that. Hopefully... They don't have another removal spell. Usually, this is actually interesting though. Most discard. Eh, it's fine. Don't overthink. I think we're probably. Oh man. I think we're gonna get rid of this. This doesn't really help us that much. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of this. All right. Well, I mean, free one of Thopters is pretty juicy. I'm gonna try to attack with the Thopters first. I would have thought they would have done this. They would have got rid of it. They had removal because they don't you want me to get free ornithopters. Cross me. All right, yeah, let's do this. This is fine. Case of the Lost Witness. It's gonna be a little bit of a grindy matchup. That's okay. We're here for the grind, baby. All right. We're here for the grind. Discard a card. You know what? Deadly cover up. I drop it. Hmm. I do like the deadly cover up just so I can kind of get rid of something like insidious roots or something. We don't have to get worry about it anymore I think it's gonna have to be a Trata though they're gonna eventually they are gonna get this pretty big board hmm we do have Aklazots I mean, honestly just flying in through the air is going to be what we need to win Urborg Reap oh okay what do they got this oh this just brings it back to the hand so nothing too crazy yet. Rubber Belt Maverick, but we know. If you have never played against Insidious Roots, you know how insidious it can get. So nothing too crazy yet, which is nice. Whale of the Forgotten is really, really nice. I'm dropping you. I just want all the gas I can. Before we do anything, let's just go ahead and kill the Lily. Alright, Lily's out of here. A delay, nothing more. A delay, nothing more, okay. What I'm thinking about is if we go for Will Forgotten, we can bounce the Insidious Roots. I think that's just a little too slow. I don't know. I don't think we really even have... We can just bypass their strategy by putting everything in the air. The Kitchenous Crawler is not... Ooh. Ooh, now we're scared. Now we're scared. Now we're scared. Okay, Insidious Roots with Tyvar is um, devastatingly horrible. But, wow, we actually get so lucky. They whiffed. They whiff and they lose because of it, single-handedly. Isolder! Isolder, how you doing here? Let's go ahead and keep this. Alrighty. Well, we got our Thopters. As long as you got a Thopters, you're looking pretty gosh darn good. We do have our Dark Slick Shores, which can be a little awkward. I was actually thinking about maybe cutting one of these or two of them, or maybe not running them at all. I don't know. But while we ponder upon that, let's go ahead and give our opponent the friendly mulligan hello. Everybody needs and deserves a friend when you take a mulligan, because those things suck. All right, let's go and drop our Restless Reef, and we'll get ready for this turn two Thopterus, which is, man, this card is, uh, I mean, I cannot stop raving about it. It's pretty much like a two drop win condition. You gotta get rid of it. So let's go and drop you and you. Two drop win conditions. I like that. This is, um, I think this is still kind of a win condition, but I mean, this thing is like the win condition, so. Human. All right, so we're going against uh, Zorius, um, Soldiers. I think we're ready for that. Uh, we do have first strike, so we're not going to be swinging in with our self-proclaimed win condition. We're going to go ahead and drop our cryptic coat, and we will be on the way. All right, pretty dynamite hand here. Face down card, blah blah. The war leaders call. Okay, so we got to be a little bit quick about this. Just have first strike. I would double block 100%. But as you can see, how quickly this actually just gets out of hand. 
I think we're gonna go in for the thought. We could hold up Earth's Eye. I think we would just go for the thought stream. Let's just pay homage to our brand new alchemy card, the new Dark Confident. Ornithopter for free. And I think we'll just start racing them. Why not? Undercity Sewers. We can actually go for the Gix's Command as well. And an Aklasox. We'll go ahead and keep that. Looking pretty dynamite right now. And I actually actually did not even realize this. This is not... This is um, Jeskai? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Well, I'm mm, a little nervous now. Unfortunately, Dark Confident. Earth, the Thought String Analyst. I think we're just going to have to use this to block. Yeah, I don't... Because this takes damage. We already have, like, enough weapons. I don't think we have to steal stuff. I think we're okay with doing this. Sure. Another Ornithopter. Let's go ahead and play this down. See if they have a counter. They do not. That went through, like, butter. So we know there's absolutely nothing to be afraid of. Let's drop our Aklazots. Free of charge, baby. I guess we might as well swing. I mean, yeah. This is, um... I think we're just going to get a classic... Out race, out match kind of matchup here. Do you have our little ornithopters? I don't know how to pronounce them. Say uh, Bart, there. Down to 15, but of course we have the life link from this. Rally at the Hornberg. I mean, this is a cute deck. I just think we're uh, we're just a little bit faster right now. But this is a good deck, though. They didn't do anything for like the first like three turns. So I mean, I could definitely see us losing to this. But unfortunately for them, like, we're, we're just, we got the, we got it, baby. I think that's going to be it, because Aklazoth has four in the air. This can't be blocked, and this is in the air. Yeah, I mean, I think we just, we just win. Plus, we have Gixxas Command. Yeah, what, um, kind of a, yeah, that's actually really nice, but yeah, kind of a boring matchup. I hate to say it. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm satisfied with it, but sort of a boring matchup. I, um, but we'll take it. I mean, a boring win is a win, so can we really be that upset? Guess we'll just do this, get a little bit more damage off. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. Get a 1-1. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, I mean, pretty good little beat down there. Good game. 